For those who've had a double mastectomy and want a full width pillow that covers the whole chest and tucks under each arm, a double mastectomy pillow is the answer. A detailed tutorial and free pattern are available on createtodonate.org for that as well. The pillow pictured here hasn't been stuffed yet because I typically make the form and only stuff them when they're needed so that they're easier to store. This tutorial walks you through a single arm mastectomy pillow with a pocket that holds a hot or cold gel pack to support healing if it's part of the person's recovery plan. Gel packs come in all shapes and sizes and can easily be purchased online. To make this mastectomy pillow, you need a 14 by nine inch piece of 100% cotton fabric in a fun print, a 14 by nine inch piece of solid fabric that complements the print, a 14 by five and a half inch piece of solid fabric for the pocket, and a bunch of polyfill, even more than I have shown here. You'll also want to have a handful of sewing clips nearby and the arm divot pattern piece that was somehow feeling camera shy today. To prepare the pocket piece, okay, yes, that does sound like Peter and his pickled peppers, but anyway, fold over one edge, one half inch, finger press and clip, then fold it over again, another half inch and clip in place to prepare it for sewing. To secure the folded edge on the pocket piece, use a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Now we start constructing the pillow form. So place the pattern print right side facing up, then lay out the back side and the pocket piece so they're also right sides up. Once that's ready, flip the back of the pillow over so that the right sides of the fabric, both the pattern and the solid print, are facing each other. After making sure all of the edges line up, clip the side edges of the fabric to prepare for sewing. Sew the sides together using a one half inch seam allowance. I realize there are several ways to approach how to sequence which parts to sew first. For the purpose of this tutorial, however, I felt it easiest to start with the sides. If you're a seasoned sewist, approach it however it feels best to you. It's time to grab that elusive pattern piece and start cutting. I call this cutout the arm divot for lack of a better term. If you prefer to trace, then cut, grab a fabric pencil for this step, or you can simply clip the pattern piece to the fabric and cut away. The pattern piece needs to be placed on the top edge, three inches from each side edge. I like to clip the fabric before cutting so that it doesn't move around. Once you've cut out the arm divot, clip the curve to secure it for sewing. And just to be safe, you may also want to push the edge of the pocket down a little bit so that it doesn't get caught in the seam. Use a quarter inch seam allowance to sew the top edges and curve and make sure to trim all the thread stragglers so they don't haunt you later. The last step before we stuff the pillow is sewing the bottom edge. In order to turn this right sides out, you'll also want to make sure to have a turning hole. So use your clips to mark a three inch turning hole in the center before you start sewing. Then use a half inch seam allowance to sew that bottom edge. Before turning this right sides out, clip all of the corner edges so that you don't have as much bulk for the pillow's corners. Once that's done, turn the pillow form right sides out. Pay close attention to keeping the solid fabrics together when you're turning so the pocket is on the back of the pillow form. Once you've turned it right sides out, take an extra minute or two to poke out each of those corners so they're super crisp. Before you stuff the pillow, it's nice to give a quick finger press all around the edges. Then you get started with the stuffing. When it comes to how much you should stuff a mastectomy pillow, a medium firmness is usually best. If the pillow is too hard, it may irritate the very place it's supposed to lend support. Once you've stuffed it completely, clip the hole together so you can prepare for sewing. Sew the hole closed using a quarter inch seam allowance. I typically machine sew the hole closed because it's faster and my sewing machine is already warmed up. If hand stitching is your preference, however, a ladder stitch will certainly do the trick. Your pillow is ready for its close up and the addition of gel packs. Before designing this pocket, I researched standard sizes of the gel packs and found that this design will fit one of what is considered the large gel pack or two small or medium packs, so it leaves plenty of options for the recipient. If you're putting together a care package for a mastectomy patient, this drain bag holder for the shower would be another wonderful addition. 
If you're done with sewing for the day, or you want to get together and do a project with someone who doesn't sew, this tutorial also offers a no-sew option. As always, a full tutorial is available on createtodonate.org.